Aria, national youth champion. That's won silver and bronze medals at the European Juniors as well. India having a good competition. They've already claimed 11 medals. Brought a full team of 20 athletes are up at the top of the table at the minute, alongside Russia. Equal top of the women's table with Poland. Round one. So into the first, Ayari of Italy in the blue, Nairem of, of India in the red. Chanu Nairem was mentioned, the Asian youth champion at 51 kilos in 2020. Just standing off at the moment, having a look. The Italian, meanwhile, Ayari is just jobbing that lead hand forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, just looking to try and find that that kind of nice, easy rhythm. You see plenty of fighters do this, but Chano Norum is interesting. She's standing kind of stock still, looking for a way and just shuffling forward, almost millimetre by millimetre there, and then launches into a right hand. And the Italian can't just let her do this. She's just going to creep forward, creep forward. And then throw, throw the jab. She needs to throw the jab there, Ayari. It's set up there, just waiting for it. Just snap that jab out. No reason not to do it. And the referee's telling them both there that they need to engage and, and fight, which is fair enough because that was a very, very, very slow start to the fight. No reason not to just throw that jab. She eventually does there, Ayari. And looks for the right hand off the back of it. There's that strong right hand from... Chanu Naram. Again, that's what she looks for. She's not that bothered about technique when she throws it. She just launches herself in. You just look at that front foot there. It's just creeping, creeping forward every time. And when she gets close enough, she'll go for it. One, two there from Ayari. She's a solid-looking fighter of 51, the Indian. And you'd imagine she's no respecter of opponents' power, and that's why she fights the way she does. She's happy just to walk through what they're going to throw her way. Gets onto the inside there and just looking to club away at Ayari. Again, just chasing Ayori across the ring there. Well, goes to the end of the first round, and that was that was an interesting kind of round. Very, very slow start, as I say. And you've got Chan Inara in there, who's just looking to creep forward almost imperceptibly. And when she hits a certain point, she pulls the trigger and forward she goes. Ten lines across the ball for her there, and that was the only way you could really score that. She was the one who landed the significant punches in that round. Ayari is set up there just to jab. She could just throw that jab and just keep throwing it. She's got to do something just to try and stop 
her Indian opponent just walking in on her like that because, as I said, she's, she's a solid fighter physically. Jana Naram for a 51 kilo fighter, Asian youth champion. She's got her method and it clearly works. You've got to be able to do enough to, to get her respect, basically, Round to try and just stop her. Just coming in on you like that, you've got to make her respect your, your punch power. And if you can't do that, you've got to make sure you get off the punching line when she comes forward. <laughs> Left hand there from Chanu Naram. Looking for the right hand over the top as well. Is shoelace undone there, maybe, is it? No, the vest has just come out of the shorts. Tight guard. Chanu Naram just looking to, to move that head side to side and then again just reaches with that right hand. When she comes forward, she'll do whatever she needs to do to, to close the gap and get there. Most fighters, most kind of textbook trained fighters, if you like, they'll keep that balance, they'll throw their punches. If they don't make it, then they'll just bring those gloves back and keep their balance. Chanu Naram has got her own method here. And when she attacks, she attacks. And she's going to make sure that she reaches the target, whatever happens. The weight can come forward, it can be a bit ragged. It doesn't matter. Left hand there from the Indian got through. Right hand was short, but again, she just goes again there, midway through the second round. It's difficult to cope with this kind of style. It is because she's, she's physical, strong. And Ayari quite simply doesn't have the to snap on her punches to stop her doing it. There's that right hand again. just ends up on the floor there and physically she is being she's been bullied here really by Chanu Nairam he comes forward there looking for the body with the left hand and then the right to the head and then they end up end up in a tangle up close again And 10 lines again there for the Indian fighter. So she's got a clear lead going into the third and final round here. And it looks very much like she will go through to the gold medal bout. She's a formidable fighter. This is the first time I've seen her in this in this competition. Picks the moment that she's going to come forward. And as I've been saying, when she does do that, she completely commits to it. There's nothing half-hearted. She doesn't get halfway there and decide it's not really on and pull out. That's not what happens. And if you're on the receiving end of it, as I say, what you need is either a, a crisp jab, one-two, that you can land on her as she comes in to stop her in her tracks, take her off balance, or you need to be able to take a step to the side and try and catch her on the way past. 
Ari hasn't really initiated too much. It's been it's been Chano Naram who's been the more proactive. I always just look look to really try and react to what her opponent does. And if you don't have, as I said, the the punch power to to hit her on the way in and hit her hard on the way in. Again there, Chanu Narum landed it a couple of times and again there and the referee steps in with a standing count. You saw the head just just rock back there of Ayari. And I think she's finding this uh, a frustrating experience because she knows exactly what Chanu Narum is going to do. There's just not really anything she could do about it. Right hand there again from the fighter in red. And again, these single shots. And that's a good example of her just reaching for that right, making sure it lands. Whatever happens, she'll do what she needs to to make sure it gets to the target. Good right to the body there. And she's just knocking Ayari around the ring. Well, goes to the end of the fight. Touch of gloves between the two, and that's a comfortable victory for Barbara Osana Chano Naram of, of India. And she will go through to the gold medal bout. They're having a very good tournament, India, as I outlined at the, at the start, and she will get the opportunity now to box for gold. Very good competition for Lucia Ayari of Italy as well. I didn't mean to sound too hard on her during the course of that fight, but it's just one of those situations where she's in with a fighter who's got a very kind of tough rugged style and there just wasn't too much that she could really do to counteract it. Ladies and gentlemen, in the bout 345, the first semi finals women's 51 kilograms. Win on points with the unanimous decision from the red corner, Babari Osiana, Chano Naurim, India. So unanimous decision and some 10-8s in there as well. 